Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you what's in my dock. So to start off with, I've got Finder, as you can't get rid of it unless you hack it. Dashboard, to toggle up my dashboard nice and quickly. Um, I do this because I've got one keyboard hooked up to two computers, so if I click the dashboard button on the keyboard, it will open it up on the other computer, so that's a bit annoying. So I have that just a little quick toggle there. I then have Google Chrome, which is my web browser. I prefer it to all the others, like Firefox, I think is too bulky, loads up too slow, and Safari is just not fast enough, and Google Chrome is perfect. Um, iTunes, you know, iMovie, you know. I then got Postbox, which is my email client, so I can read my emails. Yeah, and um, that's based on Mozilla, Fire, no, Mozilla, Mozilla Thunderbird. Uh, it's just got a nicer interface and loads faster and also supports more email clients which I prefer. I then got Tweety which is my Twitter client to view my tweets and tweet. I then got Newsfire which is my RSS reader so I can read my RSS feeds from various websites. Spotify to listen to songs which is always good and um, for free. Um, text edit to uh, to jot down notes briefly and quickly. So I say if I have an idea quickly, just click that and type. I've then got Photoshop to edit, 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 to create graphics for my website and also edit photos and images. I then got hi hi hyperspaces so you can customize your own spaces. So see the way the background's changing. And also you've got quick toggle settings up at the top here with a little icon and you can quickly choose your um, space to go to which is really handy. Then I've got friends to view my Xbox Live friends, who's online, who's not and then I can send them messages which is good. I've then got Statu to view stats of my computer and um, I haven't got the registered version so it only pops up briefly but, um, you can see why it does, it shows the time and normally it's like embedded into the background which is cool. Then I've got Espresso and Coda which both do the same thing. They're both coding applications for uh, creating websites and various other coding parts, like creating software. Um, at the moment, I'm using Coda, but I prefer Espresso's interface. But um, yeah, ITV to view my, so I can record my TV and anything which is on my TV, which is always handy. Then I've got color tag gen. So say if I want that color there, you just simply click it and then if you want the slightly lighter version, you can just drag up. I prefer this one to um, the normal digital color meter, which comes with the. But this one's handy as well, digital color meter, because um, say you want to see how the distance between the pixels, you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, blah, blah, blah. And that's really handy. I love both those applications, and they're both some of my most used. Digital color meter should be in my dock. I just can't be bothered to put it in there. Um, I've then got MEMP, so I can use off yeah WordPress offline and create websites. Basically, it's a MySQL offline, uh, so that's really handy. I've said handy a lot to this video. And then I've got GoodReader USB to drag files from my computer onto my iPad and iPhone uh, with the application, which I can't actually remember at the moment, but it's on there somewhere. And I've got CyberDuck to FTP to my iPod Touch um, to, for jail, because it's jailbroken. So I just like to drag on files on that. Then I've got a screen flow to record my screen, which I'm currently doing. Um, terminal to type in quick commands, so just pop that up and then type in kill finder. And I also use a quick little trick to make the Mac dock magnification size larger so, um, than it is usually. Um, so if you want to see that code, that is on my website, ilpgeek1.com. So you can just check it out under what is it? Uh, tutorials, I think. And then you've got live stream procaster to record my screen live and also webcam live and then my two stacks downloads oh no just one stack downloads and trash and there you go guys that is my doc hope you guys liked it i hope you guys find out about some cool new applications and um, also check out my website which will be in the down bar which is apps.thatroll.com for application reviews for ipad iphone and mac 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 i was gonna say mac location and for Mac, there you go, guys. Um, don't forget to comment, rate. Oh no, it's like now. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See ya.